I have found, though, that um, I produce this uh, quarterly publication called the Lucid Dream Exchange, uh, which anyone can get at dreaminglucid.com. But, but some, of the, some very good lucid dreamers are insomniacs. They become awake, and they're awake for two hours, and then they go back to sleep, and they have lucid dreams. But, but I don't know about the effect of sleep apnea. I'm sorry. First of all, to what extent is lucid dreaming associated with more prevalent and usually active perception of knowledge or paranormal information than either normal dreams or waking states? That's one question. The second, which is a related one, is to what extent do people who are active lucid dreamers more likely to have um, paranormal experiences? And how do you explain that? Okay. Uh, to your first question, um, I, I think the answer is, is that when you're consciously aware, if you think about it, you can seek out the muse, you can seek out the information. You don't have to wait around for it to occur. And so, so, so that's, that's kind of the first answer. The, the second answer is the prevalence is determined by the lucid dreamer's mindset. There's a lot of excellent lucid dreamers who would never go looking for precognitive information because why should you? It doesn't exist. Uh, or why should you try to heal another? You can't. You know, it's all occurring in your mind. And, and so, or in your head or your brain. And, and so, 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 you can't really correlate those things. Uh, the people who go in search of it are the people who have the mindset and believe in it. Yes, in the back. Very interesting talk. My only concern is um, trying to draw the kind of inference. I think you were drawing from Hilgard's Hidden Observer or Morton Prince's Co-Consciousness work. I think it's uh, very questionable to argue that because we now find something in pieces that um, those pieces correspond to pre-existing or natural elements of the thing. In my work on dissociation, that's what I call the Humpty Dumpty fallacy. You, you know what, and, and it's only minutes you really can't get into it, but, but if you read my book, um, I think you'll see that I, I make a relatively important case. And here in this quote by Carl Jung, uh, basically there's another quote before this where he, he says, that to show an inner self, it would have to have these capabilities. And in, in my lucid dreaming studies, I show that when I ask that res responsive awareness, hey, show me something I should see, or whatever, it meets all the qualifications that you asked for. And so basically, that's why I call my book Lucid Dreaming Gateway to the Inner Self. I think you're, we're actually in contact with this other awareness at this different layer of self I'm going to call it the inner self just because I have to call it something. <laughs> we have time for one more short one. Uh, Mont, yes? Um, can you say a little bit about that? Sure. sure. You know, in my book, I have uh, um, a chapter on mutual dreaming. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I just want to tell you a, a story, if you don't mind, just real quick. Um, real quick. Okay. I, I became consciously aware. I saw a dr dream figure enter the dream, but it looked like my friend Mo, who, who I know. So I went up to her and I go, Mo, this is a dream. Do you realize we're dreaming? And, and she has this, let's lucid dreamers call it the drunken sailor effect, because they, they can't focus and they're kind of going like this. And I go, Mo, do you realize we're dreaming? I picked her up and started levitating. And I go, see, we're levitating. This must be a dream. Then I got frustrated because it's obvious she wasn't aware. I put a peace sign in her face and I say, Mo, whenever you see this peace sign, you can become consciously aware. You see that? Anyway, four months later, I get together with Mo. We have lunch in San Francisco. She comes walking up to me as I'm standing there waiting for her, and she goes, just like that. And I, I go, Mo, why are you doing that? She goes, I don't know. I just felt like it. <laughs> Thanks.